Okay, I'm making this video today because we had a problem. Uh, we had a perfect flight yesterday. It was real fun. We flew over some marsh and uh, some marsh waters in uh, South Louisiana, and uh, it was the first time I flew over water. It was pretty cool. Uh, it was a little, uh, a little hairy, wondering if it was going to crash into the water or whatever. But it stayed in great control. It was a great video, and I had a good time doing it. Um, but when I got home, uh, my DJI app. DJI Go app um, advised me to upgrade the firmware. Um, I have the DJI Phantom 3 standard, um, which I got a few months ago, and I love it. It's an awesome uh, toy, and actually, I just love flying it. But uh, so anyway, the Phantom 3 standard is the key here. Um, we had an upgrade firmware failure. Um, it explains that when you're doing the upgrade, uh, make sure that you don't power the unit off um, during the upgrade, and they really mean it. Um, well, on the app, it asked me to upgrade, so I turned everything on, got it all ready, I hit the upgrade button, and uh, it began the upgrade. I believe it upgraded the firmware here first. I don't know what it was actually doing, but it upgraded some firmware and uh, then it asked me to turn on this and link them or whatever it asked me to do and I did it and uh, it started to um, it started to upgrade the firmware here and as it was doing it um, it seemed all natural and everything until um, until the camera started started shaking in place really fast real fast vibrating like this um, and I thought that was kind of goofy, but I just let it go for a little bit because I thought perhaps it was uh, doing something with the gimbal calibration or something. I didn't know. I just left it, let it alone and let it go. Um, and to make a long story short, um, after about 10 minutes of this, um, I felt the side of the gimbal over here and it was really hot. And it started worrying me that something was wrong with this firmware upgrade and I'm gonna burn my gimbal up. Um, so I decided to turn the unit off to make it stop. Well, I don't know if that was a mistake or what, but what happened next is what got me perplexed. Um, I uh, went to power the unit back on to finish, uh, to upgrade the firmware again. And this unit started these loud beeps that were continuous. Um, the lights were flashing in some weird fashion um, it was obvious that this thing was not right anymore um, uh, it wasn't linking up properly and all kinds of problems so um, so I did a lot of research looking for this problem online and I couldn't find exactly what was going on um, with anybody with a solution um, but it turned out that uh, when I came in to work I brought it with me uh, to, to hash things out with my friend Lenny and uh, Lenny found a video of a, of a kid in uh, Canada who had the same problem and he explained the camera shaking and uh, him turning the unit off and, and the sound that it made and, uh, and uh, he decided to do something else uh, to try and fix it himself. So what he explained uh, for us to do would be to delete the application off the iPhone or whatever unit you're using as a control unit. Uh, I use an iPhone or an iPad. Um, so delete it from the iPad. Uh, basically, when, it, when you reload it, uh, it'll ask you for the upgrade. Um, I was a little bit worried about uh, if I deleted it from my iPhone, what would happen uh, with the cached information about the program and stuff. So what I decided to do was get Lenny to use his phone, which has never had the DJI app on it, and download the app, and we would do this from his phone. So we did that. So we, the first thing we did, the first solution was to use a completely separate device. We used Lenny's phone. Uh, we uploaded or downloaded the software DJI Go app. Um, then we selected our product. Um, once we were running the software, DJI Phantom 3 Standard. Um, and by the way, there's a different solution for this on the advanced and the professional. It's a lot easier. Um, we're not going to go over that because that's not what we're dealing with. The Phantom 3 standard, Phantom 3 
three, uh, yeah, Phantom 3 standard um, has got very little information online about how to solve this problem. That's why we're making this video. So we put the program on Lenny's phone. It did ask us to uh, if we wanted to upgrade the firmware, and we were kind of excited. Uh, so we decided to go ahead and go with it. Um, it, it gave us some uh, information uh, before we start to turn on the Wi-Fi for the location we were at. So in other words, uh, when your phone is connected, you typically have the Wi-Fi connected to the fan, or actually to this part. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go to your wireless settings, change it from the Phantom to your local Wi-Fi, which in our case is at our office. Um, and then once you've done that, go back to the app, uh, and then you can tell it to download and it does its magic. Uh, once the download is done, it tells you to hook back up to the uh, Phantom via Wi-Fi. So you do that, um, at which time you can upgrade the firmware, which it's downloaded. Uh, it does its magic and, and does it to this. And, and at this point, I believe the instructions on, on, on your device explained to turn this off and that was uh, the case that's exactly what we did we, this was off this was updating um, at this point it, it tells you to turn this thing on uh, we did turn it on it was con it was still making the noise of course because it hasn't had the firmware upgrade yet um, but then Lenny uh, went ahead and hit the uh, the upgrade button since it had already downloaded it to the phone and uh, it was ready for the upgrade, he hit the upgrade button. Almost immediately, we knew things were happening right. Uh, the loud beeping stopped. Uh, it started the short beeping sounds. Uh, the camera did its little magic and uh, it began to do its firmware upgrade. Uh, in about 10 minutes, it wasn't long at all, the upgrade was over with and uh, my Phantom 3 standard drone is ready to fly um, I'm not sure why Phantom or uh, other folks haven't come up with a solution for this um, I figured it was a good time for me to make a video and uh, show you guys how to do it it's really pretty simple just make sure you follow the instructions that are given uh, read the fine print when you're downloading and when you're uh, starting the upload make sure that the things that are supposed to be on are on and uh, the things that are supposed to be off at some points during the install are off and uh, you should be good um, my unit is uh, back to normal turn it on and it's ready to fly I mean without the uh, propellers we won't fly but it's all good um, I'd like to thank you for watching the YouTube video but uh, I don't really care. If you want to watch it, you can watch it. Uh, <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> so anyway, uh, have a nice uh, time. Um, I'm pretty sure this is going to solve your problem if you had the same problem we had. Um, and uh, you can't call me because I'm not going to give you my number. But if you watch this video and do what I said, you probably are going to be successful. Have a good day.